hey, here's a simple SciML fact of the day. This one's on automatic differentiation. Did you know that automatic differentiation fails to give you the correct derivative for a lot of cases, a lot of very simple functions? For example, here's a function, f of x equals x, and then f of x equals zero if x equals zero, right? So you have an if statement. So if x equals zero, zero, but else x. You might think, okay, well, that's actually just, you know, the equation f of x equals x, but it turns out this is not, right? Because what automatic differentiation does is it takes the derivative of the branch it goes down. So standard implementations of automatic differentiation will actually find that the derivative of f of x at zero is a constant function, so therefore the derivative is zero. It should always be one, but many AD engines will actually give it a, a value of zero at that point. Jax, PyTorch, uh, Julius Enzyme, and and and, uh, and and many other systems will do this, right? Turns out that actually forward diff.jl, the forward, forward mode AD in Julia does not, because it specifically has a way of excluding zero measure branches. So that are you know branches for which the interval of hitting it is the measure zero set. Um, it has a nice trick for doing that because it's 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 dual number actually makes it so that way the if check on there x x equals equals zero is actually always false so it always takes the other branch it eliminates that kind of discontinuity and then it makes it so that way it always is taking continued der continuous derivative that's actually the reason for the four diff v one one release that happened a few months ago in 2025 uh, the implementation of that feature was kind of breaking in a sense because it actually fixed a lot of derivatives SIML fact of the day.